Hello reformers and welcome back to Subnautica. Now I don't exactly know what I should be doing right now, but I kind of know that I should be getting some food. So let's let's just get a couple of pieces of food right here just to make sure that we have a little bit in reserve and I probably should get some more. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I need to get some water. Oh dear. Yes, I should have done that with the bladder fish. Oh well, my bad. My bad. But what we are going to need to do is break down some of that metal salvage. What else are we going to be able to get here? Ah, yes, batteries. We can get two of those batteries now. And hopefully we'll be able to get a high capacity mobile power source. Not entirely sure what that's going to be for. We need some silicon rubber as well. So can I make some of... Oh, are you serious? Do I, do I not have any? I thought I had some. Yes, I do. There we go. I actually do have some. That's fantastic. So let me just go into there and then we can actually make something. There's the power cell. Okay, so what is that actually going to do? N nothing? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's going to do much. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just get some more glass, I suppose. And, uh, oh yes, towards the end of the previous episode, apparently I said that there was a... Well, that there, there's not been very many aggressive entities around to, you know, bite our faces off. But... Just as I said that, apparently one of the more aggressive fish or alien life forms decided to swim by me at, a, at the exact moment. So <laughs> I'm hopeful that we will maybe not encounter that thing again. Who knows? But uh, yes, need to be a bit careful of that, I suppose. Anyway, I uh, oh, there's a grav trap and there's a sea glide mobile vehicle bay. We need to get all of these scanned as soon as possible. So let's just get some of these things. Oh, I, I did not want to do that. Yeah, okay, well, that's not too bad, I suppose, because it is now kind of a, a bit more compact, I suppose you could say, so I suppose that's pretty decent. Anyway, I'm just going to put a bunch of these things in here because I don't need them at the moment, and condensed titanium bar. Can I expand my storage somehow? I'd very much appreciate being able to do that. I should really drink some of this filtered water as well. My H2O levels are going down a bit too much for my liking. Dehydrating but keeps well. All right. Should I just should I just eat that? Oh, look at that. Your food actually does go above 100. That's pretty nice. All right. So let's go up and apparently there's going to be some things going on, so <laughs> I need to be a bit quick about things. So I'm going to try and see if I can scan some of these modules. I, I don't even know whether I'm able to find them. Metal salvage? Do I really need to pick up more of that? I don't really want to pick up more in case I encounter something that's really useful. I mean, I guess I could always drop things. Ah, a beacon frag. Do I need to scan this? Oh, yes, apparently I do. There we go. That's fantastic. Okay, so we knew ha we, we now have that, and there's a grav trap fragment as well. All right, so that is that is pretty awesome. So now, oh, what is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, this kind of thing kind of doesn't inspire confidence in me, so I'm not really wanting to not really wanting to go over there, but should I? Is that going to kill me? Yeah, that is going to kill me. That is really going to kill me. That is a steam vent or something along those lines. Uh, if only I could find the valve to turn it off. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, so what? what oh no, there's a message. Look, there seems to be a message back at the at the at the life pod because I repaired the radio. So, I mean, is, is that what that means? That that little that little icon, and apparently I can swim underneath as well. There we go. That's much easier. All right, so, yes. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, playing back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Right. Oh, okay, so now we can exit the escape pod down here, but yes, apparently there are other survivors. So that is good. So we can actually, you know, meet up with them and maybe we can pool our resources or they can murder me and take all of mine. Who knows? 
So, <laughs> yes, let's hope that that is not going to be the case. Anyway, I do... Oh, wait, I have that grav trap, don't I? Oh, look, I should probably go over there, shouldn't I? It's only 800 meters away. Okay, so I do have the grav trap and I do have the beacon as well. So what do those things actually do? So we probably want to take a look at those. Maybe I should take a look at the blueprints more like, because that is more than likely going to show me exactly what I need to know. So where is that going to be? Need some silver ore for that. Yeah, a beacon. Okay. Navigation aid maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. Ah, oh, okay. So this is pretty fantastic. That basically means that if you're exploring a cave and you want to mark that location as extremely dangerous or something like that, then you obviously don't want to go back there. Otherwise, Gravtrap uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. I don't know how effective that is, and I don't know really what to do with that, so I guess I'm just going to leave it alone for now. And, uh, yeah, maybe it's going to come in handy a little bit later on, but at the moment, I don't really have too much need of it. So I guess we're going to go over here and see what we can do about meeting up with Rescue Pod 3 or whatever it was that they were. And now I'm being attacked by something. Yes, it's another one of those exploding things. Isn't that fantastic? I'm taking a lot of damage from those things as well. That is annoying. Uh, well, I actually need a... Uh, do I need more of these? Uh, let me just... Apparently I can... Creep vine sample. Alright. What is that? Is that an aggressive... Oh, my. Okay, there's actually a lot of these around here. I need to be a bit careful. I don't really want to, you know, attract these beasties to me. That is not going to be very fun. Or is it? It's going to be fun for you, I guess. Because you're going to see me wailing in terror. Yes. What is this? Oh, just metal salvage. They're not behind me, at least. Hmm. I, I'm actually kind of wondering whether I can pick up some more copper or something, because I'm going to need that to be able to synthesize a couple more batteries. Because I'm just seeing all these acid mushrooms everywhere, and I'm like, oh, I should probably pick some of these up. Yeah, you never know. Okay, what's in here? Oh, we got some quartz. Oh, no, not another one. Another one of these explosive things. I actually don't even know how I'm supposed to avoid their explosion. Is it actually one of those things? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> how am I supposed to avoid that? Hmm. Maybe I need to use flares or something like that. Or maybe I should just attack it with the knife? Hmm. Well, whatever the case, I am very low in HP, so maybe I want to use my medkit. Let's use that. There we go. We're back up to 83 now, so I suppose that's pretty good. Now, we can make medkits with fiber mesh, isn't it? Yes, I think fiber mesh. And I think I can get that. How can I get that? I need to take a look at the blueprint for it. What is that? What? What? Okay. Was that... Was that, was that meant to happen? <laughs> I actually am unsure whether that's meant to happen or not, but uh, anyway, let's just uh, let's continue going this way. It kind of makes me think that one of the alien life forms has gotten hold of a radio, and it's just like, ah, oh, yes, come over here, where where I am, and uh, go come and rescue us. And it's actually going to turn out to be some huge, well, very carnivorous individual, whatever it may be. That is hopefully not the case. No, it's definitely not, but still, you never know. You never know. Maybe I can actually find a couple of pieces from the life pod as well. Maybe I'll be able to see a couple of things that I might be able to unlock some blueprints for. There's some metal salvage down there, but don't really need that at the moment. And, we, I mean, bear in mind, we do have to be a little bit careful. What is that? Yeah, it's another one of those things. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, they're right there. This is not good. This is not good. I'm getting I'm getting the creeps a little bit. Alright, let's go down here. See what we can do. Hello. Can you let me in? Okay, no? Oh. Oh, they left it. Oh, they apparently left it. Okay, well this is not good. Okay, what's that? Ah. Okay, I'm going to need to look at this. Ah, oh, I really wanted to look at it. 
Okay. Oh, we're right next to... Wow, we're very close to that. Okay, so I'd like to look at that if at all possible. So where is... Data downloads? Yeah, there we go. Unidentified Crew 1. You really think it'll carry two of us? Unidentified Crew 2. Your regular sea glide tow tows a mass of 80 kg at over 30 kilometers per hour. The power so I rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, so they left, and now it's night time. Oh, dear. Oh dear. And I don't know where they went. Where did they go? I guess I'll just stay in here. I'm going to stay in this small little... Oh yeah, no, that's not going to work, is it? No, it's not going to work. Is there anything else? Ah, there is actually something else here. Displays compass heading on the HUD. That's pretty useful. Did I just hear something actually growl? Or something out there? I think I may have heard something. Hello... Creepy things. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. You know, it kind of makes me think, oh, you know what I should do? I should go all the way to the bottom because there's not going to be anything there. No, but there is. Ah, uh, dear. Okay, well, seems like I'm going to have to go back. And, um, oh dear. Okay, yes. We might have some issues. Okay, I'm going to go in here and maybe we can pick up some. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's some titanium. Don't really need that. Give me some copper, please. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some copper. More titanium. Not very useful. I mean, titanium is always used, of course, but it's not something that I need right now. Uh, yeah. I mean, because of that thing that I didn't necessarily see in the previous episode, I'm kind of paranoid now. Even more so than before. Right. What is that? What is that over here? Metal salvage. Ugh. I don't really want to pick up more of it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to take some peepers. Jeepers, creepers. Yeah, I'm going to I'm not going to do that. But I I do have the, I do have a bit of the creeps, so yeah. There's a Gary fish. There's a peeper. Take that. Is something laughing at me, or <laughs> it seemed like that big, big guy over there with the glowing tail was was just like, oh, you're, oh, that human is hilarious. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure it looks absolutely very funny. Yes, very amusing to see some idiot just flailing about in the ocean. And literally not knowing what is going on. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do otherwise is probably try and find a way to reduce radiation in some way. I need one of those bladder fish as well so that I can make some water. Wow, look at our H2O levels. They have really plummeted. I need to find some more bladder fish then, I suppose. What is that? What is this? Oh, metal salvage. Don't really need that. What is that? It's another creature egg. I don't particularly need one of those. Ugh, let's just take some more quartz, I guess. I wish things would actually stack in the storage locker, but apparently they don't. Uh, is that a bladder fish? No, it's just a peeper. Okay. What's that? Blue palm? Can I, can I pick it up? No, I can't pick it up. Right, well, at least we picked up and investigated the radio signal. I'm a bit sad that I maybe didn't get there early enough, or maybe it's just scripted that way. And I'm always kind of creeped out whenever I'm going in these creepvine areas, because I think there are probably some predators lurking around there. So that is not very nice. Maybe I can get some... Oh, I really need some more bladder fish so that it can give me some more water. I'm just like, do you have some bottled water? Yes. It's just one one ninety nine. thank you very much. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, anyway. We are finally back at the life pod, thankfully. I didn't take any additional damage, hilariously enough. Okay, so that's good. Alright. So, first off, what we want to do is we probably want to build... Uh, maybe a grav trap to attract light objects and small creatures. 
I'm sure that is going to be used for something pretty amazing. Displays, ah, uh, oh, deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. That could be very useful. And a compass. We need copper wire and a wiring kit for that. Right. Ah, uh, fiber mesh. Yeah, I need creep vine samples for that. And I'm going to make another battery. Because we might want to get that other thing, whatever it was. What is it? Where is where is that thing that I just saw? Didn't I just see something in particular that I wanted to get? With a with a battery? I think it was a it was the Ah, it was the grav trap, but now I don't have any copper ore. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, anyway, at least the the more time I spend in here means the less time that I have to go outside. So I suppose that's that's decent. We have some nutrient blocks here. I should probably make some some water, shouldn't I? Yeah, let me just do that real quick. There we go. Filtered water. What does the disinfected water actually do? Uh, it's microorganism free. Oh, okay. Well, that's... <laughs> that's a bit creepy, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm just gonna drink that. I am very dehydrated. Look at that. Must be all the swimming. Oh, these are not good. I need to cook these. Let me do that right now. So hopefully they're going to actually give me a little bit of H2O if I just cook them and eat them right away. I think they actually do give a minor amount of H2O, so that should be good. And I'm actually getting a bit mixed up with what I have to do here. Okay, so that's old and these are new ones. So as you can see, they do actually give you H2O, which is pretty nice. This is rotten and this is decomposing. How hilarious. Okay, I'm having decomposing fish. Uh, that's certainly something I do not want in my inventory, so we're probably going to drop those. Let's drop all of those, thank you very much, and... Alright. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go toward the ship, because obviously we haven't really gone that close to it just yet, but I'm going to need to go close to it so that I can figure out a way to maybe scan some additional things, maybe find some kind of radiation prevention stuff. I, I don't even know, but we're going to find out, I guess. Let's see if I can get a couple more of these samples. Because I'm going to need fiber mesh, because you never know, I'm going to need some med kits. I am certainly going to need some med kits. All right, so what is what is that down there? Is that something that I need? Uh, oh, a bioreactor fragment. Oh, that seems very useful. I actually don't know what it's all about yet, though, but I suppose we'll find out. I am hearing something big. Did you hear that? Oh, my. Okay. Got to be a bit careful about our O2 levels as well, because this is very, very deep. I'm just looking for fragments right now. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. A quantum detonation, you say? Oh, that sounds fantastic. Okay, so in other words, it is going to explode. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Ah, right. Okay. Well, this is where I get a little bit... Oh, dear. Okay. I think that is probably a beastie. That is certainly a beastie, in my opinion. I'm actually trying to find if there's any... Whoa, okay. Don't attack me, please. I don't think this is actually going to attack me. I think this is more like a whale of some kind, probably. But I need to find some source of oxygen underneath the ocean waves. So I'm just going to scan this real quick. Certainly takes a long time to scan. I mean, you can, I think you can pretty easily tell that it doesn't seem to be very aggressive, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Ah, there seems to be a fragment down here of some kind. So I'm going to need to get down here very quickly and then go right back up. Scanner room. Am I being attacked? 
I apparently was, but uh, okay. I actually don't know what I was being attacked by because it seemed to either run away or maybe it maybe it was just one of those explosive fish again. Uh, yes, they they do tend to do that to me, don't they? All right. Well, this is uh, more creep vine. I am finding some pretty decent fragments, I guess, but I'm gonna need many more of them to actually make some significant discoveries. So I'm not very, not very pleased at the moment. Uh, more metal salvage. What's that? Salt deposit. I don't really care about salt at the moment. Maybe. I wish I could find some silver ore to make that high capacity tank. What is this? This is more metal salvage, isn't it? Yes. What's this? Copper ore. Okay, well that's always useful, but I very much need some fragments instead. We are going closer to the ship, by the way, so do bear that in mind. Oh, what's that? That might be something. That might be something down there. I hope that's not just random metal salvage. Seems like that's all we're finding. We're very close, actually, to the Aurora now, so... Well, I, I, I don't know whether we need to be too careful here, because obviously there's going to be some things nearby, some enemies. Ah, there we go, Cyclops Bridge Fragment. We need another two of those to be able to unlock it. Whoa, these are, there's some really awesome things that you seem to be able to build here. What is, what is that? That does not seem like a, oh dear. That does not seem like a very friendly individual, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, so what did I lose? Did I did I lose something? No, it seems like maybe I just lost the things that I picked up when I was out there. But I guess I did get some fragments scanned. I am kind of having a couple of shivers now, so I'm going to end that episode off here. Anyway, yes, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.